thank you so much for doing this. Absolutely. Happy to be here. I'm very excited to talk to you because uh, I am very excited about the show Work in Progress, Mm -hmm. um, which among your many accomplishments is uh, probably one of the most recent. Yes. Yeah. And one of the ones, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm really proud of the, the work that I, I've done, like, uh, you know, through the years, there's some highlights, obviously, in my career. And this one, by far, is uh, the biggest, um, you know, a dream come true to work on a show with um, people that I met in my first improv class. I think, you know, it's there, there's there's so many things and reasons why it's so special. One is because you know, um, Abby McEnany, the, the lead character, um, it's loosely based on her true life. And, um, and I played Campbell, her best friend. And, you know, I've known Abby and have been friends with Abby now for probably we're going on 25 years and she's the hardest working woman. Um, honestly, hands down, ask anyone that knows her and everyone in Chicago knows her. Um, she's the hardest working improviser, you know, for someone she's never stepped foot on a set before prior to work in progress. She had to write something herself that, that would allow her voice to be heard. And so she you know, um, uh, worked together with Tim Mason, another very good buddy of mine who actually directed all eight episodes in season one. Um, they got together and, and they just put together this pilot, asked if I'd come out and shoot a couple bits. And I'm like, heck yeah, with you guys, yeah. And, um, and you know, and good things happen to good people that that just really work and like and, and it's just such a compliment to Abby and her passion and desire and Tim and her her friends and and all of that that really were cheerleaders to this project and helped um, you know with the pilot and putting it together and lo and behold it got accepted to Sundance Showtime was there in the audience and they. They, you know, they saw something special too. But also the other special thing, it's in Chicago. It's shot on location in Chicago. And and I've lived there for 10 years and, and it's just my heartbeat. Abby wanted to make sure that everyone, um, you know, had a first shot. So like the head of makeup, um, this was her first head of makeup instead of being, you know, an assistant makeup, but same with wardrobe, same with like hair, um, uh, a camera, you know, um, so everyone kind of got their first kind of big, you know, role on this. I certainly did. I mean, heck, so <laughs> great. I mean, she, she, you know, made opportunities for people and, uh, and it's, it's a beautiful show. It's vulnerable. It's raw. It's honest. It's funny. It's heartbreaking. It's queer. It's straight. It's, it's everything, uh, everything that makes it good television show well especially right now because I feel like everyone is talking about comedy and how hard it is to do comedy in today's climate I think it's hard to do comedy the way it's always been done in the current climate and I think what's beautiful about this show is that it speaks to that when you're talking about a gray-haired 50-something lesbian non-gender conforming human being which nobody has represented really in media prior to this and then you have a a trans man and you have a lesbian dating a trans man and Mm -hmm. and what does that mean does that mean the lesbian's no longer a lesbian that whole storyline is true based on abby's life and you know and 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 in her own words i know this is kind of a we're not used to this word quite yet but refers herself as a, a queer dyke you know and and um, because she, when, when she was dating the trans man, um, you know, a while ago, which, which uh, Chris in, in Work in Progress is based on, she didn't want to take away his identity by her referring to herself as a lesbian. So she kind of removed that from her uh, um, to, to give respect to all identifications in, in the relationship there. And, you know, and I think, I think, and somebody really did ask her, which became Campbell's line in the series, um, so I guess you're not a lesbian anymore. And, you know, I, I think it, it goes back to fluidity and, and I hate to kind of hang down on, on that thing, but who cares? Like, <laughs> you know, we're adults. Like, <laughs> if you're not hurting anyone and you're being open and, and you're communicating to your partner, who cares? In that very first episode, you know, you show her life 
um, her friends, uh, very kind of, you know, playing some games, white. Uh, and, and then once she opens up her world and meets this trans man um, uh, who she misgendered at, in, in the first episode, um, her world grows and it becomes bigger and more colorful. And But, but the, the great thing about this show, I think, is, you know, the queer is already a given. Um, that's been established. So that's no longer a priority in figuring out sexuality or coming out to the world or things like that. So it's already a given. So now we get to explore like other issues that we all relate to, whether it's, um, you know, our weight issues, uh, anxiety, mental health issues, uh, family sh stuff. <laughs> I mean, I got five brothers and sisters and, you know, I'm queer. All, all of them are straight, but yet we all find something that like they love this show and they all can relate to the show, even though they might not identify how the lead character does they still identify parts of themselves with, with everyone in the show and, and with situations and stuff. So, you know, this, this is a show for everyone and, and it's, it's inclusive. And so uh, if you're not queer or, or anything like that, you're still very much welcome because it is a story of life. This episode is all about food that we're doing. Oh, this, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I saw it's you in your all, kitchen. All yes. All yes. And that the tie was a you're doing <laughs> this live stream from your kitchen all the time, which I watch and enjoy and I recommend everybody watch it. And then yeah, the theme of the almonds. So a, a co worker um, gave her a bag of almonds to help her lose weight. Abby took offense to that. So she laid out all the almonds on the table. And every day she's going to take one and throw one out. And at, by the end of the 180 almonds, if um, her life doesn't get better, she's going to end it. So luckily there is a season two. <laughs> <laughs> I am very excited to find out. Well, thank you so much, Celeste. What a thank delight you. to talk to you about all of this. This is so fun. I really appreciate it. And um, have a great, uh, great rest of the show. Thank you. You too. Take care. Thanks again. Bye, Bye guys.